Right, in this video we're going to look at two telephone operators with a changing uh, time interval and see what effect that has on the Poisson probability calculations. Okay, so we've got two telephone operators, A and B, in a hotel receive an average of 15 and 12 calls respectively per hour throughout the working day. Find the probability that operator A will receive four phone calls between 9am and 9.15 and then find the probability that operator B will receive three or less phone calls between 9.15 and 9.45 a.m. and find the probability that between them the operators will answer at least three calls between 10 a.m. and 10.20 a.m. So the time interval in the first part is 15 minutes, the time interval in the second part is 30 minutes and the time interval in the part C is 20 minutes. Okay, and we've got averages per hour, so per 60 minutes. So let x be the random variable, the number of calls answered per 15 minutes by operator A. We know that in 60 minutes, operator A receives 15 calls, and therefore in 15 minutes, he receives 15 divided by 4 calls, because the time period has been reduced by uh, by 4, so 60 divided by 4 gives you 15, so we have to do the same here. So x will be Poisson 15 over 4, and the probability that x is equal to x is lambda to the power of x, e to the minus lambda over x factorial. We want to receive exactly 4 phone, four phone calls, that's the probability x is equal to 4, so we're going to just going to calculate this one, so it's going to be 15 over 4, to the power of 4, e to the minus 15 over 4 over 4 factorial. You could change that to a decimal if you prefer to, but it is possible to work with these new calculators in fraction mode. There it is, and there is the answer. So we get 0 0.19378025, which gives me 0.19423 significant figures. Okay, part B. Find the probability that operator B will receive three or less phone calls between 9.15 and 9.45. So let Y be the random variable, the number of calls and answered per 30 minutes by operator B. In 60 minutes, the question said operator B received 12 calls. Therefore, in 30 minutes, it's going to receive half of that, 12 divided by 2, which is 6 calls, therefore y will be Poisson distributed uh, 6, mean a 6, we want 3 or less, so we want the probability that y is less than or equal to 3. So using the PDF, so we go to GeoGebra, I've already set this up, you should know how to do it by now. Uh, so we want less than 3, so we'd have to sum all these, prob prob less than or equal to 3, so we have to sum all those probabilities up. Of course, it's better to use the uh, CDF, which is 0 0.1512. Screenshot of that. However, better to use the CDF, and we get 0 0.1512. So 0 0.1512, and we'd round that off to three significant figures to get 0 0.1512, three significant figures. Now we have to find the probability between them. The operators will answer at least three calls between 10 and 20, 10 a.m. and 10.20 10, a.m. So let t be the random variable, the total number of calls answered by both operators a and b in 20 minutes now. This is the time period. So in 60 minutes, operator a receives 15 calls according to the question therefore in 20 minutes it receives 15 divided by 3 calls which is 5 calls and then for operator b in 60 minutes operator b receives 12 calls and then in 20 minutes operator b receives 12 over 3 calls so t will be poisson this is going to be 5 and this is going to be 4 5 plus 4 so in total they're going to receive 9 calls, so we want to consider a Poisson with a mean of 9 calls, so we want the probability at least 3, which is the probability that t is greater or equal to 3, which is going to be 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 if you're going to use CDF.
Okay, so using the PDF, so we need to go back to this, we need to change this to 9, and we want more than 3. Okay, that means we're going to have to sum up quite a lot of probabilities here. So if we went to the CDF and changed this to 2, and scroll up, we would have to do 1 minus that value, and that will give me all, all the probabilities. So using the PDF, we can sum all those, and rather lot of work. Better to use the CDF, and 1 minus this number here, is it 1 minus the probability that x is equal to uh, less than or equal to 2, which is 0 0.062. And that gives an answer of 0 0.9938, which is 0 0.994 to three centimeter figures. So this video shows you how to deal with changing time intervals or intervals. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.